Richie McCurling was 11 years old when he made a solemn vow to remember the bravery of American soldiers on D-Day. On June 6, 2014, the 70th anniversary of D-Day, Richie and his father Richard McCurling Jr. visited the Normandy American Cemetery in Memorial. Donned in a 101st Airborne Division uniform, he stood for an hour and a half on historic Omaha Beach while holding a salute. And the American flag. A video that his father had shot went viral and he soon was known as, the saluting boy of Omaha Beach. Richie wept as he gazed out across the English Channel and paid tribute to the 57,500 brave young Americans who took part in the amphibious assault. Of those, 2,501 died. Many of them were laid to rest here. So impressed were some of the survivors of the D-Day invasion, known as the greatest generation, they greeted Richie and thanked him for remembering their sacrifice. Hello. He got assigned to the field artillery, anti-tank uh, battalion, but he wanted something a little bit more exciting, so he decided to join the paratroopers. Richie even chronicled the exploits of three members of the 101st Airborne Division's Kurahi Parachute Regiment. He shared their personal histories with visitors to the cemetery. Then something remarkable happened while he stood in silence on Omaha Beach. A lone trumpeter joined him in his vigil. For his devotion to the memory of the paratroopers who perished on D-Day, in 2017, Richie McCurling was made an honorary member of the 101st Airborne Division Kurahi Regiment a special ceremony in his honor at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Learn more about Richard M. McCurling III and his Project Vigil at projectvigil.com.